I've been building out a mono repo for work and I've decided to go for a different setup than what I've used before. I've decided to go for as few dependencies as possible. And I've landed on these three as the essential ones. We have PNPM on the left side, which is our package manager. We have TypeScript, which we're going to use for linting our code and building our packages. And we also have Turbo Repo, which is going to coordinate everything. Let's zoom out a bit and look at how this directory might look. We've got our packages directory, we've got our apps directory, and we've got two files at the base, package.json, turbo.json. This is pretty optimistic. You're going to have other things in here, in here like git ignore, your node modules, all that sort of stuff. But here's the basics. And we've got two main commands that we really want to run here, turbo build and turbo dev. We're going to look at turbo build first, which is the stuff highlighted in blue. So if we look at inside each of our packages. This package here is a sort of example of how it might work. We're producing JavaScript files inside the dist directory here, and we're using TypeScript for that. So when we run build inside our package.json, we have a script which says build TSC. That's going to turn anything that's inside our uh, TypeScript, any TypeScript files in there into JavaScript files inside the dist directory. Our TS config is literally you know, a few lines long. We're using extends total TypeScript TS config TSC no DOM library mono repo, which is my recommended setup for this. And all you have to do to add on top of that is just add where your out directory is going to go. So out dear dist. So when we do that, basically all we need to do from the root is just say turbo build, which is ideally you would have turbo installed globally in your system. So you can just run turbo build. And then thanks to the turbo.json here, this tells turbo what it's supposed to do. So what it does is it builds. And if you have any independent or interdependent packages, then it builds the dependent ones first, then it outputs those into the disk directory and Turbo would actually save those. So it will cache the results of all of that stuff. So if you run this command multiple times and the files haven't changed, it won't run the same code twice or won't, won't do the same activity twice, which is just amazing. Because you might think using TSC is pretty slow actually, but you can either speed it up with ES build, which is definitely one way of doing it. But I tend to find just caching the results of the work with Turbo Repo is good enough because actually you're doing double duty here. You're using TypeScript, first of all, to build your files, but also you're getting that linting working for free as well. So it's kind of, you get to save a lot of code by doing this. Then you have your turbo dev here, which is kind of the same setup. And you basically just sort of have this dev setup inside turbo.json, which says cache false. So don't cache the results of this. And this is a persistent task, a long running task. And then we look up here and we've just got TSC watch. So just doing the same thing as we had in the build step. We have a couple of things inside our apps too. So we just have a dependency here, tracking my package, which is workspace um, uh, colon star here. And, or colon wildcard. What this does is basically links it via PNPM so that you can use stuff from inside your shared package inside your app there. And that means that when you run dev, and actually if you run dev inside your app directory, so if we go into apps, my app, and then run turbo dev, then that will only run dev in the packages which depend on it and also the app itself. So this can be any kind of app you like. It could be a Remix app, Next.js app, it can be a Vue app, whatever. Whenever I don't say a framework, people always get offended. So Astro, I don't know, all the, all, all the different frameworks. What this means then is that you have a very, very powerful pipeline with type checking enabled, with caching on all of your scripts, and you've just got three dependencies here to start off with. It's not a complicated setup to work with, and this setup can scale really, really nicely because Turbo is caching all of the right stuff for you. So that is PNPM, TypeScript, and Turbo.